Welcome. This is item number 16 from the release spring 2014 test items for Tennessee 7th grade TCAP math. Man. Anyway, the manager of a store sells used books. Or a manager of a store that sells used books bought 120 books for $540. A lot of times used books work that way. They'll buy in large bulk amounts. Anyway, the manager sold each book for an equal price. So every book that they bought, they sold out from their store for the same price. And the store made a profit, so more than they bought them for, they made money off of it, of $150 on the sale of books. This equation can be used to find P, the sale price in dollars of each book. They're giving you a very clear message. They show you the equation and it's blocked off like that, you're probably going to just use the equation and then solve it. So what was the sale price of each book? As far as this goes, it's showing you that a hundred they bought basically the five hundred forty dollars is what they paid for it, but they sold a hundred, all of them for the same exact price, and then you take out the profit that they made, and it should equal uh, five hundred forty dollars. They want to know how much you know the whole thing is. You just take okay, well six or six ninety that kind of thing. But they want you to solve it essentially. There are a couple ways that you can do it. You want to follow sort of a procedure to solve it, which is kind of what they're hoping that you do. Uh, draw a line down the equal sign. Here's your variable. Your variable just needs to be by itself. We just want to find the price. So all we're going to do is eliminate everything that's on the same side of that line with using opposite operations. And that's kind of how it's going. So what's the furthest thing away from P that's on the same side of the line? Well, 120 is right next to it, so it's not that. So it must be this minus 150. The minus separates them. So to get rid of minus 150, I need to add 150. So if you ever lose your focus here, just kind of put your finger or something on the variable, start moving stuff away that's on the same side of the line. And make sure you draw the line, it's easier to see everything. So I'm going to add 150 to get rid of subtraction. Those cancel out. Canceling out just means that minus 150 plus 150 is zero. So putting plus zero here doesn't make a lot of sense because I have something else to put there. So just that's where that comes from. I get this. Add these up and you end up with 690. I think I mentioned that before. Now I still need to get P by itself. So it's multiplied by 120, you could tell because they're touching. So I divide. And then once you do that, P ends up being $5.75. 5.75. Now, is there another way that you get that answer? Of course. The reality of the situation is that they give you all possible answers to this question. It's multiple choice, so one of them has to work. And you can exploit that because they were, this is how they wanted to assess you, so you can exploit that fact and use it to your advantage. If you have trouble solving equations, you could always just simply substitute in these values until you get one that equals 540. So 120 times $2.80 minus 150. If I if you have a calculator you want to do it by hand, go ahead. I'm just trying not to waste your time by showing me doing all these by hand. But if I have 120 times 280 and then subtract 150 from it, it gives me 186. And since it's supposed to be equal to 540, this is all this side, by the way. It doesn't It's not right. It's the incorrect answer because it doesn't give me the result I was looking for. On the other hand, if I was were to do... Uh, the last one, and I'll bring up the old TI-34 multi-view, um, which is pretty close to what most calculators people are using for this type of test or look like. If you're using a better one, it's probably almost the same thing. So all I'm going to do is substitute in for P. I'm going to put a parenthesis there to remind the calculator that the relationship between the variable and 120 is multiply. So I'll just plug in what we think it is from before. Minus 150 hit enter, 540. It's supposed to equal 540, it does equal 540. That means that this is the answer that makes both sides of the equation true, and thus is the correct answer. So, worst comes worst, and you can't remember how to solve equations for some odd reason, you can always substitute one of the answers in. Just find that it's equal, and that's it.